Okay, so normally I don't make these kind of videos this short, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make this one short because this one, everybody, like I feel like everybody felt this one. I felt this one as well. Twitter shut down for about five minutes. And I felt that. I'm not even a avid Twitter user. I don't even use Twitter like that. But I did feel this one because everybody, I, literally everybody was asking questions. What happened? Why is Twitter not working? What, I was refreshing the page and d Twitter wouldn't load. What's going on? Well, it turns out that a lot of workers, they ended up leaving, at least according to some of the news outlets. So that will make it about what, like 75% of the workers, 75% of them have left already and only about like 25% of them remain. How are you gonna run an empire like this with only about 25% of the workers? You need people to be there. And I'm pretty sure that Twitter's gonna be running a lot slower because there isn't a lot of people there. One of the main reasons or the catalyst for all of this is because Musk, apparently, he ended up putting out an ultimatum and the ultimatum was you either are committed to it or you're not. Twitter is in disarray today after hundreds of employees quit en masse rather than give in to the demands of the world's richest man, Elon Musk. The crisis began when Musk issued this ultimatum to the staff. Commit to working long hours with high intensity by 5 p.m. Thursday or quit. And it seems hundreds chose to walk. And if you're not, well, you can receive severance pay and that'll be the end of you. And some of the conditions that he's laying out are pledging to work harder, extra long hours, working weekends, probably working holidays as well, and adapting to a new culture. That's some of the stuff that he kind of insinuated. And if you don't want any of that, then of course you could receive severance pay and you can look for another job elsewhere. And apparently from what news outlets are speculating, the reason why Musk did this was because he wants to weed out the slackers and replace them with actual employees that will intensely commit themselves to Twitter, to the, to the new ideology of Twitter. I kind of want to show you guys this because uh, after some time, I think like about an hour, Elon Musk, he ended up tweeting this next to a grave. It, it's supposed to be Twitter's grave, but Twitter's like right here. Like, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. You know, like, I guess that was like the idea behind it. I don't know, man. I'm listen, man, I'm, I'm scared. Okay. I'm not scared for myself because I don't, I don't really use Twitter like that, but I'm scared for other people because other people do use Twitter and their businesses rely on Twitter. And I know that there's going to be people, I'm pretty sure there's going to be people out there who are going to say stuff like, oh, well, you know, you, you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket. Listen, man, I think that line really undermines the whole dynamic of Twitter and other social medias. Understand that other social medias don't exactly have the same algorithm as one another. And most importantly, nobody wants to spend their time over at Instagram if you don't like Instagram. When I see pictures of other people's lives, it makes me feel worse. When I see women trending because they look beautiful, it makes me think about the other women who aren't trending, who don't care about beauty. They probably feel bad about themselves. That's one thing that I don't like about Instagram, that people feel crappy about themselves. On Twitter, at least you're debating with people, you know? you don't. Yeah, it's toxic in terms of like being canceled and stuff like that, but at least you don't have to see a picture of yourself and having to compare that picture with someone else's and you think that you look crappy because it just completely decimates your own self-esteem. I don't know. That's just my that's just me though. Maybe you have a different perspective, but personally when somebody says that oh well you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket, some people just don't want to do videos. Some people just doesn't they don't want to do Instagram. And most importantly, nobody wants to go to Facebook anymore because who uses Facebook nowadays? You know, it's like saying, oh, yeah, I use Bing as my primary browser. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> I guess Elon's beginning to understand that it's not just about free speech. Running a social media company is not as easy as he thought it was because you can't just come in here and just unban people and expect and no consequences whatsoever. Of course, you're going to have consequences, especially when you finance Twitter and Twitter is losing money. Dude, from what I heard, Twitter loses four million a day elon musk bought this company or twitter for 44 billion and on top of that he financed it so that means that he now he's running it on credit so he has to pay a debt and he has to pay this debt annually about a billion every okay, year i just want you guys i want you guys to see this this tweet right here okay look at this and we just hit another all-time high in twitter usage 
maybe this is his plan the whole time to just cause controversy. Because honestly, like, if you take a look at this, it seems to be working in his favor. But I think that we could just take a look at a couple of other social figures to determine how this is probably going to play out. If you take a look at some of the rappers, I usually refer to hip hop because I feel like this is a big indicator to what's going to happen if you do go down this path of antics. If you take a look at some of the rappers in the hip hop game, a lot of them like Takashi 6 9 Lil Pump, all of these people, they ended up using antics to prompt themselves up in the social media game. And there's other people, other celebrities out there who do the same thing as well, who just use antics to just kind of draw attention to themselves. But sooner or later, because you don't exactly have anything of value to give, you usually fall off. Now, in this case, I won't say that you will fall off because or at least twitter won't fall off because twitter has something of value to give to people where you really can't find anywhere else this experience is very unique to twitter but nonetheless who knows how this is going to turn out and hopefully it turns out well because again i'm not thinking about the people who deserve this i'm thinking about the people who need this they run on twitter and those are the businesses that I'm worried because a lot there's a lot of good people on Twitter. A lot of good people that are just minding their own businesses that, that they're just they're just wanting to run their own business. They want to like make sure that everything is fine. But yet there's people out here who are trying to cancel Elon Musk saying, "Oh, he needs to be canceled. He needs to get out." Listen, man, um I understand that our critiques need to be heard, especially when someone like Elon Musk is running it. I know there's probably going to be people out there who are going to be celebrating the downfall of Twitter, but just remember, there's people out there who run their businesses on Twitter. Okay, just remember those people because those are the people that do not deserve it. There is no experience like Twitter, and they like Twitter. There's people out there who just want to stick to one social media. Just let them stick to it. Anyways, yeah, I just kind of wanted to leave it there. Uh, hopefully, this wasn't too bad. This wasn't too depressing, but just be careful with Twitter. Be careful with your investments because I know the whole FTX stuff is going down, the crypto market crashing. Like, just, just be careful, guys.